Hello people. Today we're going to talk about my attempts to customize Zalmex airplanes. So this was my first attempt back a long time ago in the 1980s when I first got this itching to to have different squadrons and stuff on the wing. Uh, I was making a lot of plastic models, um, you know, traditional 1 and 48 scale and whatnot. And um, this was a color that I was using on, on a lot of the, the Navy aircraft that I was building at the time. And it, I think it worked out real good on this Phantom. I didn't take it apart. I removed the landing gear. I'm sorry, not the landing gear, but the uh, the missiles and the the um, uh, fuel tanks. I just lightly broke around the the rivet right there and pulled it away. But I never separated the airplane. And then I painted the the end of the nose here black. And I tried reapplying some of the original Zalmex or Z stickers. But that's really as far as I got with it. And I was really uh, uh, disappointed with um, how I left this. I mean, I was impressed with the paint job. But I didn't like the way I left the wheels, the landing gear. Um, I don't like my... <laughs> my solution for for applying navy markings and um of course i wasn't able to add anything to the wing because i i just didn't have anything that was that specific and of course i didn't have a replacement windshield so you know making this better now of course you got to remember i was a teenager when i did i was 13 or 14 when i tried this so today with uh, a lot of the videos that I'm seeing online, uh, people are making their own decals. Um, they're making windshields now. I found a guy that makes windshields. Um, just incredible uh, artists is really what they are. I'm going to post some of their links uh, down below. This was my attempt at a Tomcat restoration at the same time. I did all these at the same time. And quite honestly, I wasn't really happy with the way that it turned out. I put black in all the wrong places. But I just didn't do it well. You know, it's, again, I didn't have a windshield. Um, these Phoenix missiles would not reattach. Uh, still didn't do anything about the, the landing gear. On hindsight, I should have probably cleaned the paint off uh, before it dried. Or I could probably take some thinner now and clean it off and I'd be back at the, the original wheels, which I think is the, the route that I'm going to go here in the future. But, um, you know, you can't remove these wheels from this post. You'll, you'll break these uh, fingers that are holding the the axle you know to the to the post so that's not not really an option I've tried it and um, as you'll see here shortly here was my attempt at a hornet all the same problems but I really like this color So this was my last attempt, and I actually sanded the body on, on all three of these planes here. I didn't do anything to, to try to remove the paint. I just painted right over the paint. This was actually my attempt to try to sand it a little bit. Um, you know, I had th thinner was available. Um, you know, there was paint stripper back then, but... Oh, 
Cut it out. Did you get it? I just didn't use any of it. You know, I I was trying to take a shortcut into customizing these toys. Uh, but this was my first attempt at really going about it the right way. I, I drilled out the rivets. And I sanded these components to try to give the paint a, um, you know, a different texture to make it look better. I really didn't like how the Hornet turned out either. As you can see, the blue paint underneath but you can see in in my layer of paint, you can see the imperfections of the blue layer of paint, which is why you want to remove all this paint first. You know, you never want to customize something by just put putting paint over paint. But you know, again, I was a kid, so I I really didn't know any better. Actually, this is my this is the last attempt. This was the the fifth one. I've got four airplanes over there, and this was a little helicopter. It's a Black Hawk helicopter, but it's not a it's not a Zymex or a Z. It's a Maisto, which out of their whole line of die-cast toys, this was really the one that impressed me the most. Now, when this one came to me, it had a broken rear rotor post. And that's why I use this as a guinea pig. We'll take the paint and we'll take it over to our sandblaster and we'll sandblast all the paint off of this down to the bare metal. And what happens when you get to the bare metal, you'll find areas that may have corrosion, you might have loose rivets, you might have some sheet metal that needs to be repaired, and we can do all that here in our own shop. Um, I removed the, the rotors and drilled this out so I could remove those. And I drilled this bottom rivet out both of them and that gave me the access to the inside of the air, the uh, the helicopter and then of course the windshield just popped right out um, this was probably something I can salvage I sanded that down to make it flat or grinded it rather I think I filed it and I was going to um, reattach a new post put a slight hole in there and then use some super glue and baking powder and kind of build it up as a as a new post but i've seen that done by a lot of these other custom customizing um, gurus so we're going to try that with this maybe later and see if we can't salvage this helicopter and then this really isn't anything that needs customized. The paint job is in great shape. Uh, there's a little bit of wear here on the wings, but you're going to have that because of the, the movement. But the wings are tight. And that's really the important part about these Tomcats, is if you've got really loose, weak wings, then something's got to be done about that. And I haven't found a way to tighten those those rivets those posts it's a post that's hollowed out and then the manufacturer had a special tool that would come down on top of that hollowed post and turn it into a mushroom shape and it'd be real tight so simulating that tool without ever seeing it is going to be difficult but um, for airplanes with uh, loose wings that's going that's a Kind of a problem but this one just needs a new windshield and stickers and it's an original Zalmex marked as you can see which is going to be the uh, bounty hunter stickers or i could put something else on there I could put whatever i want really now this one has that problem of having loose wings this was just played with a lot i got this one in the mail and a lot of airplanes purchased off of the internet and um, I tried tightening them but it didn't really work I just kind of smashed 
the rivet a little bit. So I gotta figure out how to curl that around. I've gotta make a special tool. But this one's got decent paint job. It's got obviously been played with heavily, but if I could fix this, if I could fix the wings, I would be happy to leave this like it is, or I could certainly customize it, tear it apart, and, and really try to customize properly. Now, this was another, this is actually my last, so I have six custom airplanes. This was one I did back, back in the day, back in uh, the 80s. And uh, all I did was <laughs> paint the back, the two rear wings white. Ooh, crash and burn. All I did was paint the rear, the two rear wings white and tried to use glue to attach a, uh, a spades, <laughs> uh, a little spade. I, I took a deck of cards and, and cut up a deck of cards to make this. And um, I just was unimpressed with how crappy it looked. And then this side ripped off real easily. Just It just pulled away. I didn't super glue it properly. This one was really super glued well. And as much as I tried to scrape it off with my fingernail, it just wouldn't come off. But... I think this is now worthy. In hindsight, I probably should have left this alone because it looked kind of all right and it would have been a great example of my attempts to customize, but now I think it's just too far gone and I should probably customize it fully. And what I'm going to try to do is with this one or this one here, I'm going to try to remove these windshields without breaking it. They would always just fall out naturally from play, or at least the old ones did. And then as the this is a later generation Tomcat, these windshields didn't fall out as easily. They were finding a way to adhere them to the, to the casting better. But once I can figure out how to get one of these windshields out, I'm going to use that to create a mold so that I can manufacture more windshields. And so lastly here, we have the Hawkeye. Now this is an original Hawkeye. This is what it looks like out of the package, of course. And uh, I always wanted these to be different. Now, in, in real life, this airplane, the, the wings fold. If you'll see that line right there and that crease right there, those are, that's where the, the wing separates. It rotates to the rear. At the same time, it's rotating to the rear and twisting. There's a really good video of it online you could probably find. Um, but it's to make for easy storage on an aircraft carrier. And um, this is mostly an aircraft carrier airplane, it's a reconnaissance plane. And, um, you know, you're going to have uh, maybe a dozen of them or so on an aircraft carrier. So I stripped it of all its paint properly with paint stripper, drilled out the rivet. Now, this is one I did just recently. And I cut the wings, and with JB Weld, or an imitation of JB Weld, I believe it's, uh, let's see, Permatex, it's a resin and a, a hardener that you put together, pretty basic. 
but that's what I used. And uh, more importantly, uh, let's show, show you two together. Okay, so I've got the, I threaded it. We'll just put the screw in. You want to be really, really delicate with these screws because you could easily break them. So I don't use a, a screwdriver, I just use the, the bit because um, any more torque can easily break the head off of that screw but there she is well I got to that point with this I manufactured this on a um, on a traditional mill. It's just a block of aluminum. So the wings have something to bottom out on, and they'll be even. And the body of the craft has the centerpiece to sit on so I did a lot of measuring of the airplane and where I where I thought that this should be based on pictures that I saw there the wings are sitting flat there you add your JB weld put it together and then let it sit don't touch it for a good three days maybe or at least 24 hours because it needs a lot of time to cure and then in time it'll just come right out like this did and it's pretty strong it's not a it's not a weak union it's a really solid uh, product so now with this I just need to paint it but I, I wanted to do a little bit of recent little more research on uh, solutions for the wheels So what I did is I removed the wheels off of this airplane and the little fingers broke away. So I filed them flat and what I'm going to try to do is glue them back on so they won't roll. They'll just be glued to this post right here which I really don't have uh, high hopes for. Um, but anyway... I painted these two parts, just dropping stuff all over the place, and um, the paint, after several days of curing, literally just scratched away super easy with my fingernail. Now, it's not doing it now. Maybe I literally, oh, there it goes. So, I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe I didn't let it cure long enough. I mean, this was probably after five days of, of curing. And it just wiped away so simply. So I, I don't know what I did. Um, maybe I didn't let it sit long enough, but... Well, there. So there you have bubbling there of the paint. And so what I'm wondering is, is, did I not clean the surface well enough? I didn't brush it or polish it. And that's, that's what I'm thinking I did wrong, but I really don't know, guys. I, you know, 
I gotta be honest, I'm not a, uh, I don't know a lot about paint. You know, I know a lot about manufacturing and manipulating metals, but painting something is, is, uh, is not my forte. But what I was impressed with was I glued, I used super glue to glue this plastic antenna array to the body of the airplane and it turned out perfect. I mean, it's almost perfectly straight, but more importantly, it's solid. And you can you can handle the airplane from the antenna. Whereas this one you can certainly handle the airplane from the antenna, but it's not fixed to the body of the plane very well. But, I don't know, maybe that's not really an issue for other people. <laughs> I'm probably nitpicking, but... Um, some of these antennas that I, that I, you know, have received in lots, these portions down here were broken. And I literally, some of them I just threw away, not thinking that I could glue them to the body of the plane. So that's what I'm going to start doing with some of these that are in really bad shape. Um, when they're new like this, yeah, they're going to be, there, there might be a little bit of wiggle there, but that is pretty solid and it is very straight. So that's not an issue. But for the ones that are in really bad played with shape and these are broken and they just don't stand or hold well. Um, that's a great solution. But I saw, thought I had something here when I applied that paint because I really like this color. Um, so I got to find out what I did wrong. If any, if any of you know, you know, all I used was paint stripper and uh, washed it off. I didn't, I didn't brush it or polish it or anything like that. So maybe it's, uh, maybe it's that. Maybe I, I forgot to, left a step out. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Tell me what I did wrong. Tell me what I should do with these in the future. Any suggestions you guys have would be, uh, would be much appreciated. And if you've got ideas for making um, decals or stickers easily with a conventional printer, <laughs> um, and, and just anything, any suggestions or comments you have, and tell me what you think of my my jig. Thanks for watching, people. Make it a great day. Can you recommend the safest kind of paint for a baby's room? So you basically want to make your baby's room safe. Got it. Start with bubble wrap aisle 7. Just put that on the walls for cushion. Oh, goggles. Got to protect the eyes. Because babies blink so slow. It's like this. Kind of creepy. If you're not talking to your Benjamin Moore retailer, who are you talking to? Because only an authorized Benjamin Moore retailer can give you expert advice and premium Benjamin Moore paint to get the job done right. Benjamin Moore. Paint like no other.